You know, guys, we see these two teams and the energy and the quality of play. You take a step back and look at their wonderful body of work this year. These teams have uh, combined for five double-digit win streaks this season. And you get the Mavericks and Suns both have had 17-game win streaks, which is the seventh longest win streak, equaling that, in the history of the league. Dallas has had three streaks of more than 12 consecutive wins. First team in NBA history to do that. And here's a bit of a surprise. As Dallas brings in Jose Juan Barrea, the rookie out of Northeastern, because of Devin Harris's injury, he has to come in. The guard, Leandro Barbosa. <laughs> Welcome to the NBA. <laughs> Jose, a terrific score at Northeastern, and Barbosa fires up a three right away. I guess he didn't get the message. <laughs> yeah, you got the middle guy over there who's really fast. Jose has played a total of 76 minutes, 21 games, so at the end of games. But he played some significant minutes the last two games, and he gets an assist on the Stackhouse three. Dallas by seven, Nash transition triple. Rebound to Vinsky. Point Maverick lead and another timeout for Phoenix. A 10 point quarter for Josh Howard. He had eight in the first half. He's one of the top scorers in the league in the first quarter. Josh Howard, 10 here in the third. The Mavs have turned it around by 25. We mentioned a 25-point swing from down 16. Dallas is now up nine. Here's tonight's Chevrolet game track. Well, Steve Nash was terrific in the first half, but he's just got three points thus far here in the third quarter. Great defense by Dallas. But the battle of the board, second chance points, plus 17 for Dallas. Dallas has 18 offensive rebounds. Eric Dampier is just awesome out there. He's got six offense rebounds. Dampier does not have a single defensive rebound. After the slow start, Nowitzki's come on. He has 17 points. And Lisa Salters has more on what the Suns are going to try to do to stem the tide here. Well, Mike, Mike D'Antoni just said, hey, they went on a run. Now it's time for us to go on a run. Let's make our run right now. The trouble is, he had to give Steve Nash his customary break. He subbed in James Jones, and they've got to go on this run without their floor general. Yep, Kirk Thomas, James Jones, Sean Marion, Raja Bell, and Barbosa, the five on the floor for D'Antoni. No signs of Boris Diaw, which can't be good for Phoenix. Kirk Thomas goes to get it, but he was laying on the baseline. It will belong to the Mavericks. Barrera just blocked that shot, by the way. I'm gonna give him a I'm gonna give him a block there. Are you official stats tonight? Well, I was wrong the first time, but that was a block. We'll check if Jose has garnered his first NBA block. Out of Northeastern. Very good point guard there in the last couple of seasons. Played four years up in Boston. Navitsky to the rack. John Marion, who is going to be one of the major players at the Defensive Player of the Year award at the end of the season, he has no clue as to what he's trying to do against Dirk Nowitzki. You've got to force him right. By Bosa, watched by Perea. And the foul is called outside. Dirk Jose. Nowitzki wants to go left. That's his game, going to the hoop. And Sean Marion is forcing him that way. And that's okay if your team strategy is to come and double-team him. But obviously, not everybody's on the same page in the Phoenix lineup right now. Well, yeah, I think if you get to the middle of the floor, that's when you put the most pressure on a defense. You want to force a man baseline and then get your help from there. Make him spin and then help on the baseline side. One more coming for Barbosa later tonight on ESPN. Full wrap up of tonight's NIT action, latest news, and uh, get you set the last look at the brackets in the NCAA tournament. College game night on ESPN. It's after the Sports Center, 1 a.m. Eastern. Midnight here in Texas, 10 on the West Coast. Of course, so many players here are involved with the NCAA tournament moments in their lives. We have four Dallas Mavericks who are final four participants. Steve Nash was part of one of those 215 upsets when he played for Santa Clara and they knocked off Arizona. And I know a bunch of basketball players, and college basketball players, are waiting for their moment tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if they're watching the game tonight. Have fun, guys. The country enjoys watching what you do the next couple of weeks. Stackhouse at three. Dallas leads by 13. They trailed by 16 in the second quarter.
Phoenix is not able to deny guard penetration. They're just getting into the paint and then just kicking it out for wide open three. Stackhouse on fire here. Phoenix's offense has gone stagnant. Barbosa missed the three. Marion the chase down. Only 16 points in this quarter for the Sun. Barbosa attacked the rim but couldn't finish. Just the rebound. Where's the on court leadership going to come for Phoenix with Nash and Dial both on the bench? I don't think this five has played together much with Correa, Jock, Nowitzki, Terry, and Stack. Correa thought about taking it. Four speed to Dirk as a turnover. Again, Devin Harris was injured, injured his neck as he was hit across the head by James Jones' arm. Jones is going to block him in the second quarter. Jones was open in the corner. Barbosa didn't see it. Three. Great contain there by Dirk Nowitzki. Stayed in front of Barbosa, made him kick it out to James Jones. He shot it well tonight, but wasn't able to get that one down. James Jones was on fire in the first half, but really hasn't produced much in the second. As the crowd rises as one at the close of the third. Dirk. Again, to his left, Bill. Bill, did you get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament? John, I'm old enough to remember Bill playing in the NCAA tournament. It was before here, you were born. Here are the Mavericks who have played the Final Four. Stackhouse, Carolina, 95. Eric Dampier, Mississippi State team, eliminated by Syracuse in 96. Jason Terry in 97. And Maurice Ager on the end of the bench, playing for Tom Izzo up at Michigan State. You see Jason Terry there. He was part of the last team, the only team, to be three number one seeds on the way to their national championship in Indianapolis. And his brother plays for UNLV. They're a 10 seed taking on Georgia Tech. Really? JB's alma mater coming up here in the tournament this weekend. That wasn't just number one seed. They beat, they beat the Titans in the history of college basketball. Kansas, Kentucky, North Carolina. What a great championship run. Miles Simon, Jason Terry, Mike Bibby. What a team to lead off in the Hall of Famer. Marion tries to beat the clock. He does not. The Suns were outscored. 38 to 16 in the third. Dallas shot 61 percent in that quarter, and Steve Nash is going to need an MVP for it if the Suns want to avoid going 0 for 3 thus far this season against Dallas. Off we go to the fourth quarter.